Hi, in this tutorial, I will be showing how you can create a simple photo collage for your photo album, just like this. First, we're going to create a new document. Go to File and choose New. Name your document My Photo Collage. Set the document type to International Paper and choose A4 as the size and go ahead and click OK. Next, we are going to rotate the canvas to make it landscape. Go to Image, Image Rotation and choose 90 degrees clockwise. So right now, we are going to first create the background. Go to File and choose Open, browse for the wood plank image and go ahead and click Open. The image will open in a new tab and we are going to move this image into our canvas. Go ahead and drag the tab out, choose the move tool, then drag and drop the image onto the canvas. So close the wood image, we don't need it anymore. With the move tool, reposition the image so that it fills the entire canvas. Go to Image Adjustments and choose Desaturate to remove all the colors from the image. Now go to File, Open and choose the Blue Sky image. In the same way, drag and drop the Blue Sky image onto our canvas. Then reposition it the way you like it. Go to the Layers panel, change the Blending Mode from Normal to Color Burn. Now we get a nice sky imprint on a wood texture. Next, we are going to go ahead and create the collage. Choose the Rectangle tool. Make sure you choose Draw Shape and not Path or Pixels and change the fill color to white. Now draw a rectangle about one sixth of the canvas, like this. Then go and open the lily image. Drop the image on the canvas, close this, and we are going to resize this image by pressing Ctrl T for free transform. Drag the corner and also hold down the shift key to resize the image so that it does not run. Resize the image so that it fits into the rectangle frame. Press enter to confirm, like this. Now we're going to add a caption to our image. Go to choose, go and choose the type tool. Click anywhere to create a text and type. I'm going to type this is a lily. Go ahead and select the text and change the font type and the font size. I reposition the text. Next, we are going to add a pin to the picture. Go ahead and open the Sushi Pins image. Select it and click Open. Drag the tab out like this. And for this image, we only need the yellow pin. So choose the elliptical Murphy tool so we can make a round selection. Go over to the image, hold down the shift key and make a drag. I'm not going to release my left mouse button yet and you can see my selection is larger than the shape. So you can add a spacebar key to move the selection. And you 
can release the space bar to resize the selection again and you can do it repeatedly until you're satisfied with the selection and then release the left mouse button like this Next, right click inside the selection and choose feather I'm going to set the feather radius to 1 so we get a slightly smooth edge and click OK now go and use the move tool and drag the selection over to our canvas like this and close the image use free transform to slightly resize the pin and we're going to put this pin right in the center of our picture So now we're going to add a little shadow to the pin to give it depth so it doesn't look black. So right click the pin layer and choose blending option. So we're going to choose give it a drop shadow. We're going to set the opacity to 75. We're going to untick the global light and then the angle 135. We're going to set the distance to around 12. The spread to 10 and size let's say 29 is good so we, we can see that there's a really nice shadow for our pin go ahead and click OK so next we're going to look at our white rectangle we see that it looks really flat on our wood surface so I'm going to just we're going to just copy this shadow from the pin and we're going to paste it onto this rectangle frame so we're going to go ahead and right click the pin layer and choose copy layer style and we're going to go ahead to the rectangle layer click on it right click and choose paste layer style so we have pasted this effect on this layer so it no longer looks flat in our has that and it looks like it's pinned onto the wooden surface so now we're going to group these four layers together, select the rectangle layer and hold down the shift key and click on the pin layer like this. Select all four layers and we're going to press Ctrl G yeah, to create a group. So now we have a group layer. Next we're going to press Ctrl J, Ctrl J to duplicate the group. So now we have a new group, it makes a copy of the first group, we're going to move we're going to move this duplicate group out like this so as a group we can move it all together we can also use the free transform to transform it at all at once so you can just use the free transform to rotate it and then we can go ahead and duplicate the group again make more copies you can rotate it resize it make it bigger and go ahead and duplicate and do whatever you want to each of this group until we get six pictures like this all right so you can also expand the group and you can just change make changes to the picture the captions and also the position of the pins and you can click on that arrow again to collapse the group so it's up to you on how you want to just modify so next we're going to add one more line of text a description to this picture so we're going to use the type tool and we're going to just go click anywhere in the center and we're going to type this is my photo album all right so now we're going to select the text we're going to change the color to white and we're going to just change the font size to 72 and here we're going to give it a little style we're going to give it a wave pattern so I'm going, beside the color option there's a text warp icon so we're just, just going to click on the text warp icon yeah so we're going to change the style to flat so you can play around with the band with the distortions so I'm going to click OK Alright, so I'm going to select my move tool here and I'm going to just reposition my photo like my text like this. 
this text also looks flat so I'm going to give it a drop shadow as well so right click the layer and go to blending options I'm going to choose drop shadow but this time for the distance I'm going to set it to zero so the shadow appears around the text and I'm going to increase the spread a little bit and also the size a little bit So we are done with our photo album. So thank you for going through this tutorial with me. I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.